Hi, it's Kim, Kim and Perry. You have to promise to ignore the junk fest all around me because we're in the middle of a remodel thing. And I'm just going to take a couple seconds real quick and show you how to set up a new user, a new sub user on your account. Like if you're hiring a VA, you want somebody to help you out. You don't want them to see everything and be able to totally hijack your life. You just set them up as a sub user and they will have only the power you give them. So you're going to go to Seller Central right here. You are going to go up to settings, user permissions, and when you click through to that, it will take you here. Well, not exactly there. Um, that's the whole long list of all my users, but user permissions, you probably won't have to scroll down like I do to get to the place where you add. You're going to put in their name, whatever. It's going to send them an email invitation. So put in a name, the email address for the user. If it's somebody that you want to be able to log in, handle their own um, their own two-step verification, that kind of stuff, let them use their email address. You'll be able to boot them off if you change your mind and don't like them anymore and unfriend them on Facebook and all that stuff. If it's a position, like you have a VA and you might hire a new VA, but you want them to come step into the same position, then use an email address that you control and create. And every time they need a two-step verification code, it's going to come to you and you'll have to get it to them. So it's a little inconvenient, but you maintain more power that way. Like a, we have VAs who have access to several different accounts, and I don't want to have to give them access to accounts all over again if we have a new VA. So that was confusing, right? You probably just want to let them sign in under their own name. So use their email address. Send the invitation. They will get an email invitation. They have to click through and sign in. And then you will see them show up in this list up here, this list of users, and you'll have to click Manage Permissions. When you click Manage Permissions, it's going to take you over to this screen right here. And you will see a whole long list of all the permissions they have. Assign them exactly what you want them to be able to do. And it may take a little trial and error, you know. So assign them the bare essentials. And if they can't do something, if you give them instructions and they say, what, that tab's not there. I don't have the choice to do that. Then you know you need to get in here and tweak their permissions and give them a little bit more. So inventory planning, if they're going to be managing your, your shipments, doing inbound reconciliation, adding products, checking for restrictions, all that stuff is going to come right up here at the top. Um, if you want them to be able to set up, please tell me you don't use Amazon's built-in repricer. That would be right here. If you want them to control your advertising, the settings are in here. Orders, we have VAs pulling reports, so they need to be able to view um, orders and other reports further down. Uh, store design, probably not really, unless you want them to be able to change your storefront name and prank you on April Fool's Day. That would be fun, right? Reports. Um, depending on what they're doing, it's very possible you want them to be able to pull reports. Just run down here and look at the names of everything. And you know what? You can set up a test account for yourself. You can have another login where you sign in and you try out all the permissions on yourself. See if you can do what you want them to be able to do, and then you'll know what to set up for them. See? That solves all the problems, right? So do it that way. Come down to the bottom, click Continue and your user will be good to go. Have fun with that. Sub users can save you so much work and it doesn't have to be scary and insecure because you control them. You can boot them off anytime you want. Let them do the work. Bye.